it seems like there is a, you have some branches, you know, you have some uh, directions, and uh, there's a lot of uh, possibilities. You know, we're we're in a we're in a time and place that just about anything could happen. So when I asked what's going on, architects, I, I meant how far can we go? You know, how good can we do? You know, so. I, I don't think we have scratched the face of the scratched the surface of what urbanism is all about, or what what architecture is all about, what participation is all about. Okay, I think there's a lot of values that are changing place, and that's good. And it's good that they don't land anywhere; they just keep on changing. You know, self-sufficiency ratio. It's like like this: you have a a big plot of land and uh, it's very dry. If it's very dry, you cannot really plant anything in it, okay? Maybe you can uh, dig a hole and you can have a lake, and that's as far as you can, can go. So your self-sufficiency ratio in a plot of land that is very dry is low. Maybe, you know, you can take some water. But if the, if the plot of land that we're talking about is very rich, like red soil, some Venezuelan soil with a river <laughs> passing through well then uh, you can plant a lot of fruits you can plant a lot of vegetables and you can be relatively self-sufficient that means you don't need to go to work you know you can I mean, in a formal institution you can plant and survive by having a direct relationship with nature the mission of the architects regarding luxury is to change it you know Luxury is not having dinner with uh, silver cutlery anymore, you know? Luxury is being with fantastic people. Luxury is being, uh, is being in a little house but with a window in front of the sea, you know? Luxury is a, a project that is cheap but it's built with soul. I mean, luxury can also be the, the palace of uh, Versailles. So, I'm interested in... Uh, decoding the word luxury and uh, turn it into well-being and you know get as many options as possible for a hundred years or so a little bit more uh, education has been industrial we are we are uh, learning to work in factories we have learned to work in factories now we're learning to work in offices no factories anymore you know Factories are in the outskirts. We don't see them, so it's it's the office, and we are uh, we're learning to repeat. We're learning to use tools. And I mean, for me, that's that's great. But what I also said that architecture is also bureaucratic art is the inversion of this, uh, you know, of this uh, industrial way of teaching. You, okay, so um, what's the role of uh, architecture education I think it's to make life better to as many people as possible and you don't really have to use bricks okay I think architecture of uh, yeah human management you know uh, the writing laws the architecture of, of doing things better you know has no limits so I think that the interdisciplinarity is good for that this uh, is, is the result of, of trying to get the students out from the from some, some specific universities to go and do a course um, outside you know to do a, some a reality check course you know to do something that that uh, is real with people that have needs and uh, they are underprivileged, you know, it's, 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 what I'm actually doing is to get a group together to channel the energy that is locked inside of an architecture school building or any other in, in university and point it in a different direction, okay, so that we, instead of doing imaginary projects for imaginary clients, we're actually doing real projects with real clients, so... That's, that's the dream, that's the goal. This, this thing about not having teachers and only having students, it's great because the teacher puts himself hierarchically you know, above and everybody has to bow. And uh, I don't believe in that. You know? I think that sometimes the least talented person
comes up with an amazing idea and that person needs to be empowered, okay? So it's not about how experienced you are, it's not about how, how used to... Yeah, how, how, how much you know, it's, 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 a, it's a lot about how much you don't know and everybody's learning from everybody and then, you know, it goes way beyond um, architecture, you know, it's, it's about people co-creating for the benefit of all.